Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Hungry Man meals. This one is the Mexican style fiesta. It's beef enchilada smothered in chili sauce and cheese with Mexican style rice and authentic re refried beans. It includes a coca cocada? Cocada? A coconut flavored pudding. So here's the enchiladas and here's the refried beans and the rice I'm assuming is right there. And then there's that pudding. So it looks pretty cool. Um, this was, uh, we bought these at Meyer. It was uh, $2.79, which I don't think that's too bad for the size meal of this. It's a pretty good size meal. Okay, you can, uh, here's your nutritional facts. So it's 560 calories for the meal. There's your other stuff for you. So you can do this in the oven, but we don't have an oven. Well, I do have an oven, but I'm not going to use it for this channel. We always do everything in the microwave. So, so remove the film from the pudding. Um, keep film with refried beans and enchiladas. So just basically take it off here. Um, microwave on high for five minutes. Turn film back, rearrange enchiladas, and stir refried beans. Replace film, return tray to microwave oven, and do it for another two minutes. So five minutes, kind of move some stuff and stir it around, and then two minutes. Doesn't say anything about um, stirring the uh, pudding. So, so anyway, this is it. Uh, I'm going to take a knife and uh, cut this off, but uh, get it in the microwave and I'll be back. Hey, here it is out of the microwave, and I don't know if you caught it, but there was the bubble popped up right there. Um, the beans are really hot. They were really runny, and they're still, now they thickened up some. When I first stirred them up before the last few minutes, um, they were really, really runny, like soupy. And I'm not used to soupy refried beans. I like a really thick refried bean, so they thickened up some. They're not as thick as, like, like you get them out of the can or whatever, but, but those look pretty good. And the um, enchiladas themselves, you get one, two, three, four. I thought there was five, but maybe only four. Anyway, they're pretty good. They seem to be pretty tender. So I'm gonna let all the stuff cool off because it's super hot. And the pudding, I have not touched. I didn't want to stick my fork in there, but um, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna let this cool off and I'll be back. Okay, I think I've given enough time to cool off. We'll see if it burns my mouth off or not. So here's the bite I'm gonna take. Um, you can see the meat in there and the, maybe you can't, there you go. The meat, it's got, um, rice is kind of all mixed in, so here we go. It's got a little spice to it, so if you don't like spicy food, you probably will not like this. Um, the tortillas are very, very mushy, like, um, and maybe that, I mean, I've had, I've had enchiladas before that weren't mushy. This one's very, very soft and mushy. Um, I don't expect them to be crunchy, but these are like um, like soggy bread mushy. That's how mushy they are. Maybe they're maybe they're supposed to be like that. I don't know. I'm just telling you my opinion. They're too mushy. Uh, it should be a little firmer, a little uh, more, I don't know, flour or corny, you know, a little thicker. Um, not mushy like wet bread. So, anyway, let me try one more bite. Yeah. It was just soft overall. The flavors aren't aren't bad. They're okay. I mostly taste enchilada sauce and that tortilla is what I taste mostly. Um, like I said, it's not horrible, but it's not it's not awesome either. Roof fried beans. Those are good. They have a good beanie flavor um, with a little bit of a, a sauce in there. It tastes like they've actually taken a little bit of the enchilada sauce and mixed it in with the refried beans. They may not be what they did, but that's what it tastes like. It has a, that little bit of spice to it. Yeah, those are good. They're, they're refried beans. What do you expect? They're, they're beans. Um, let me try a bite of the pudding. It's probably hot. Don't look too bad. Mmm. It's a good coconut flavor. It's not overly sweet, but um, but you can definitely taste the coconut. It almost reminds you of a, almost reminds you of the a flavor of a tapioca, almost, but just a little bit more of a coconut flavor. And I don't see or feel taste any uh, actual hunks of coconut in there. It's just um, the coconut flavor. It's a very smooth um, pudding too. It's not really thick. It's more of a watery pudding, but it's just not bad. It's still good. It's thick enough to go on your fork, but um, it's not super thick like a Jello or anything. Um, the pudding is the best part of this meal. 
The refried beans are second. The enchilada sauce in the enchiladas is good. And the rice is just, you know, it's rice. But um, overall, I don't know. The rice is actually pretty good. The, um, like I said, the, the smushiness of those enchiladas, if you don't mind that, then you, you might love this. Me, that, that puts me off a little bit. Um, the layers, the flavors of the, there, I don't taste cheese at all. Might miss it if it wasn't there, but I don't really get a standout cheese. The meat really doesn't have a flavor either. They kind of almost made them cheese enchiladas and been done with it. Um, probably saved a little bit of money and calories. Um, overall, it's an okay meal. This one's probably going to be, I hate to give it a four, but then again, it's not horrible. Um, I'm going to say it's a three and a half. It's it's really, it's a little bit better than an average everyday meal, but, but it's still not a spectacular meal. Um, the pudding actually pushed it over to the half. I would have given it a three if it, if it hadn't been for the pudding. The pudding's really good. So, um, see, I'll stick with a three and a half. Um, it's just okay. There's better Mexican meals out there if you want um, the um, to try them out. I think there's better flavors out there. But, um, but this is definitely worth trying out. And it's a big meal too. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.